Hi, I'm Andy. Uh, today we're looking at our model R43500BV. So the BV bit is important on this one because it's a bunk trailer with a V cut out at the rear. So this trailer is designed to allow uh, inboard boats um, with shaft drive that have a skeg, um, rudder pintle, that type of thing. So they need to have an open-ended rear section of the trailer to allow the boat to come on. That gives room then for the prop rudder and skeg. For this particular boat, this is for an Arvor 250, so it actually needs to be raised a bit as well because it's quite an aggressive skeg. So to give it adequate clearance at the back, you can see we've just had to pack these uh, rollers up and raise them a little bit. Again, you've got fully adjustable bunk supports all around, but what we really wanted to show you uh, on this trailer, and it's particularly with this type of boat, semi-displacement boat where you do have to get in quite deep with the trailer to float it off. So unless you want to wear sort of snorkel and flippers in the car, you might need to consider an extension or a launching pole. And we've got one here. Now I have to sort of fess up. Uh, we can't claim it's our original idea, but then imitation is the mother invention or something. But anyway, we've, we've got it and it works great. So thank you to our Australian cousins who thought of it. Um, so anyway, let's stop waffling, let's get on with it. So, it's a simple um, pole which is uh, attached at one end here. This is the hinge end and secured here. So we've just got our little little bungee to take it off and just got a, a security, security bolt and pin. So we'll just simply bring it around. And you've already guessed what happens. You can see the additional ball there which fits into the hitch. And there you go. So in this instance, you've now got another six, seven feet of additional launch length. So you deploy this when you're at the water's edge. You simply uncouple it from the car, put the handbrake on, move your car out of the way, deploy your launch pole, and then couple up. And then it is just to get you back to that water. You're not really gonna be towing this around the boat yard or anything like that. It's purely that last bit of launch and recovery. Then of course, once you've done that, the reverse is true. Disconnect it. And maybe not give it a kick. Push it back. Pin in. Bungee on, and you're away. <laughs> 